Hi, I'm Omar and I'm going to be cooking the world famous churros con chocolate. So first I'm going to take a volume of uh, flour. I don't know. So in this case, just a kilo. So I'm going to pour exactly the same amount of water. Alright. So as you can see, there is the same amount of flour, volume of flour and water. I'm going to put the flour into the heat and water into a hot pot for boiling. A pinch of salt into the flour and while the water comes back to the boil we're just going to stir lightly the flour so it dries out and it becomes very fluffy. I'm going to start doing the chocolate. For that we are going to use whole milk and when it comes to the boil then I will add this chocolate powder, there is a Spanish uh, chocolate powder, and then we will finish it with a bit of dark chocolate. You can see that's uh, boiling, and I'm just going to pour the flour, mix it, and I'm gonna turn off the heat. Okay, so this has the flour, the salt, the boiling water, and you will see how it becomes a very hard dough. At this point, add a bit of olive oil, just a little drizzle, and keep stirring for no longer than 30 seconds, okay? And all I'm going to do is put into a work surface olive oil so it doesn't stick. Take this though, look how hard it is. This is not creamy, it has no eggs. I've seen all sorts of things with churros. Churros, it's only water, flour, salt and olive oil. Okay, the milk is starting to bubble, okay? So when that happens is when we need to actually add the hot chocolate powder, okay? Now we're gonna stir it so it takes a good consistency. Bring the heat a bit down so it doesn't burn. Chocolate is very delicate, we don't want to ever burn it. And we are gonna let it boil for a few minutes under the minimum heat until it thickens up. Meanwhile, Let's go back to our friends, the churros. I'm gonna put a bit more olive oil on the top, okay? Mix my hands with a bit of olive oil. All we want to do is give it a few folds, but not too much. Can you see that all the flour has disappeared? You know, and there is a few lumps, but not much. Let's give it a good stir to the chocolate. Chocolates burn very quickly, as I said. This is ready to now put some of this nice, dark hot chocolate. We're gonna leave it for another five minutes while we fry it. So uh, let me first introduce you to what we have in front of us. This is a special churros fryer. At home, essentially, you will need a pan very much the same as the one we've used on the flour. Okay, just fill it with vegetable oil and heat it up until 250 degrees. We use this to make them long and thin. This is literally a piping bag at home, okay? So I'm just going to put our mix, our dough, which is now sort of tepic, still quite hot, inside, okay? And with my fist, I'm just gonna, I'm doing some pressure, so there is nowhere in between. So here, all I'm going to do is to turn the oil a bit, and now I start piping the churros and cutting them. As soon as they drop, they go, come up again and start frying immediately. After around 30 seconds, all we want to do is to turn them around. I'm going to put them together and turn them. There will be some churros that has to stick together. Just flip them, shake them a bit, and they will, they will separate. And let's leave them another 30 seconds, or approximately 1 minute and 10 seconds in total, okay? While that happens, I'm just going to mix a bit of sugar with a tiny bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna take them out, drain a bit of the oil, put them there. At home, I'm using this cone, just use a bit of kitchen paper. And now, all I'm going to do is just put a bit of this sugar on top while they are hot, so the cinnamon becomes quite aromatic. Put them into this cone. As you can see, they are very irregular, you know, but that's, that's the beauty of churro. It's a fanfare uh, type of uh, grab-and-go thing. 
my chocolate is ready. And you can see, it, this is very hard. But on the inside, how they are still uncooked. Dip it in your hot chocolate. Can you see how thick it is? It doesn't run down. So uh, you will find this recipe at Tapas Revolution book. Hope you enjoy it. Real churros for everyone. Mmm, great. <laughs>